Let me guess, you either already live in Fresno or are thinking about moving here and are trying to figure out if there's anything fun to do. With a metro population of nearly 800,000 people, you'd think we would, but does it actually have anything fun to do? Let's find out. What's going on, my beautiful people? My name is Mark Benneke, your Fresno area realtor, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the fun places and activities that you could take part in in Fresno, California. We all have different tastes. What you might consider fun may not be what I consider fun. For example, I love science fiction, but my oldest brother thinks that it's the stupidest thing in the world. Are either of us wrong? No, far from it. But it does cause this video to be a little bit more complicated. I don't want to bait you around, so I'll just tell it to you straight. There's actually quite a bit to do here, so I'm going to be breaking it down into four different sections. Today's video is going to be broken up into more of the broad idea of what is out there available for us. And the future videos will go a little bit more in depth into the different types of fun available to us so that I'm able to scratch the itch for you sci-fi lovers and also for you sports lovers. Now, really quickly, I'd like to ask you to be kind to someone today. Maybe just call up someone that you haven't talked to in a while and tell them that you miss them. And while you're at it, if you'd like to be kind to me, you could do two things for me. Drop me a and let anyone you know who might be looking to buy or sell their home in my area about me. I'm never too busy for your referrals. Now, let's get to it. So as I said, Fresno does have quite a bit to offer. From the artist inside you that wants to rise, the athletic enthusiast that wants to perform, to the kid within you that really just wants to laugh in the rain. Fresno has got many different options to really scratch any kind of itch that you might be having. If you're a little bit more laid back and just want a place to relax, you can hit up Woodward Park. It's a massive 300 acre park that includes a lot of trails that you could either walk, jog, or ride your bike through. It's got three playgrounds to take your children, a lake where you could watch the ducks. Just be really careful because those <laughs> can get really ballsy. <laughs> and my personal favorite part about it the dog park. It's got a really big closed in area where your pups can just run around and socialize with other dogs and for you to be able to socialize with their owners as well. Now better yet, Woodward Park has something called the Shinzen Friendship Garden. It's a stunning Japanese style garden that is very serene. It's got a little koi pond, greenery, a small waterfall. It's truly beautiful. The Forestier Underground Gardens is another relaxing place that you could check out. It's a hand built underground structure with rooms and courtyards. The place is pretty awesome to see. Not just because you know that somebody built it by hand and it's still holding up, but because I've always wanted a bunker of my own. And this definitely gives me some ideas. Are you on about your bunker again? No, love. No one wants to hear about it. Shh. I'd say this is actually a pretty cool spot for both adults and kids to check out, which brings us to the next section. If you're trying to have a family-friendly adventure that will entertain everyone, we could go with the obvious ones like Chaffee Sioux or the Discovery Center, but not all kids appreciate that stuff. So instead, you could hit up Blackbeards. It's an amusement park of sorts that offers paintball, go-karts, they also have arcades and food, mini golf and the batting cages, rides, water slides, laser tag. It's got quite a bit and it is a pretty cool spot. Now option number two, the Arizona Trampoline Yay! Park. I think the name pretty much covers what this place is. However, I do have to warn you. I know it may not look like it's a big deal, but just because your kids make it look fun and easy, doesn't mean that you or I should be going as hard as they do. Just a few months ago, my brother-in-law, who's the same age as me, broke his leg there. And he wasn't doing any backflips or special tricks, just jumping. <laughs> All right, so relaxing in family isn't really your thing. You wanna hear some bones crack, but not your own. Two great options coming right up. The Fresno State football games are available to the public. We have an amazing team that really knows how to draw in the crowd. Fresno is very supportive of their collegiate athletes, but we also just enjoy how well they put on a show. Buy yourself a ticket and attend the games live. You'll find tons of other people to enjoy it there with. And you could also do some tailgating before the game. Now let's not also forget about the Grizzlies. Less bones to crack, more bats instead. Now the beauty of the Grizzlies is that you can get a full season's ticket for only 450 bucks, which gives you access to meet the players, exclusive events, early entrance, and even discounts at their store. Sounds pretty good. But let's just say that you're more of a thrill seeker. You don't wanna watch someone else do it. You wanna do it yourself. China Peak is less than an hour away. If you like to snowboard or ski, you have an entire mountain to shred. Be there in the morning and come back before dinner time. The mountain is kept up really well and they actually produce machine-made snow to make sure that you have a full season to ride through. They offer two bars, a restaurant, and a hotel as well. It's a pretty awesome place to get your thrills. And you can also go to Millerton Lake or Shaver Lake. And well, depending on how much thrill you want, you could also just relax here too. But you could also rent a jet ski and rip through the water. Or a boat, whatever. Hell, you could even camp at Shaver. But let's just mellow it out a little bit. Let's find 
the artist within us. Art Hop is a semi-monthly event that takes place on the first and third Thursday of every month. It allows you to see artists' exhibitions, galleries, performances, and you can also mingle with other fellow art enthusiasts. And it's all different types of art too. Not just paintings, but sculptures, performance art, all different types. Or if you appreciate the theater arts a little bit more, you've got places like the Soroyan Theater or Tower Theater. They provide live theater performances of all types. Could be dance, opera, ballet, film, Broadway shows. Lots of different options to just be able to sit back and enjoy the talent. I personally get blown away by some of these performances. The sheer talent and dedication is just impressive. Anyway, second to last, for those of you that want maybe something a little bit more adult. We've got two strip clubs. <laughs> totally kidding. If you want to do it big at night, you can go to some live shows over at the Save Mart Center, where they'll host games, concerts, live events, stand-up, tons of things to see there. And you could also hit up some local bars, restaurants, wineries, breweries. They regularly have live music, a great atmosphere, and some really great selections. And there are actually two strip clubs. I actually wasn't kidding about that. But that's not what I meant by... Uh, never mind. You got it right. <laughs> now, Tower District has plenty of bars, restaurants, and clubs where you could actually spend the night. Obviously, you can't sleep there. But if you want to have fun well into the night, it's a perfect place to do so. Solitary Cellars, Engelman Cellars, and Zavelli Winery, all great wineries. You can go tasting and have a little bit more of a relaxed atmosphere than, let's say, a club or a bar. Strummers, Sequoia Brewery, The Standard. There are a lot of options available when the kids aren't around. And finally, for when the kids are around, but you want to mix everything in this list together, once a year we have the Big, big, big Fresno Fair. It draws in massive crowds, and for good reason. Amazing food that will definitely give you a heart attack. Horse racing, concerts, art venues, cultural exhibits, vendors, rides, performances. Now speaking of performances, I actually had an ex-girlfriend who participated in one of those hypnotist performances. It was <laughs> wild. <laughs> one of the funniest things that I've ever watched and she was so embarrassed when I showed her the video of it. <laughs> you can really have an amazing time as an adult, child, or a teenager. And you know how you can make sure that somebody else is having an amazing day outside of that? By being kind to someone today. It could be a stranger or a loved one. And it could also be big, or small. That doesn't matter. What does is that you're intentional about it. Now remember, if you know anyone who needs help either buying or selling their home in the Fresno, Clovis, or any of the surrounding areas, I'm never too busy for your referrals. And if you like my content and you'd like to be kind to me as well, you could drop me a... It'll help you keep track of when the more in-depth videos or other videos of the area come out. Now if you have any questions or maybe thoughts about our area, or you really just want to tell me that I'm funny looking, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these down here to learn a little bit more about our area. Well, that's all I got for you on this one, so thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Okay, bye!